This is fascinating. Urologists at Keck Medicine of USC could be on the verge of a historical medical advancement. They've launched a clinical trial to perform the world's first human bladder transplant. It's a complex procedure performed with the aid of a robot that could help tens of millions around the globe with various bladder conditions. The trial is now screening participants. Dr. Indy Gill is the founding director of USC Urology and principal investigator of this groundbreaking clinical trial, and you see him here on set. Dr. Gill, thanks so much for being with us. Congratulations on this next step, this advancement. We should also note that it, it May is Bladder Cancer Awareness Month, so it's very appropriate that you're here tonight. Let's Thank start you. with why the bladder? Well, it's never been done before. Uh, patients with a terminal bladder condition that significantly compromises their quality of life and need replacement of the bladder, so far we have been using bowel or intestine to replace the bladder. And while it gets the job done, uh, it does bring its own host of problems such as infection, electrolyte metabolic derangements. Over time, it can compromise kidney function and actually really get somebody into renal failure. Mm -hmm. And so our hope here is to replace, instead of using intestine or bowel, to replace it with a more normal bladder. So this would be a dead person's bladder right that would be transplanted just like you have like a heart transplant or something like that um, and then after that happens would the idea be that somebody would essentially be back to normal well it remains to be seen yeah hmm. okay uh, the bladder has two functions primarily one is storage of urine and second is expelling it so uh, as regards how well it expels the urine is something that remains to be seen uh, but, uh, you know, the goal here is to replace the use of bowel in, in the urinary tract. And how, how would, say, doing this compared to other transplant surgeries that have been done before? Um, the, the actual transplant operation is not that difficult. Hmm. Using the robot is how we've been developed the technique. But it is the removal of the bladder from the uh, donor. Mm. That is the intricate part because the bladder is a deep pelvic organ and the blood supply to it has not been fully uh, explored in the deep pelvis. So that's what we have been developing over the past year and a half. And uh, the removal of the bladder, for example, in the initial um, uh, cases took over 10 hours. And now we've gotten down to about four. Mm. So we feel we are ready. You mentioned uh, off camera that you're getting close to finding recipients because this is a clinical trial, so you Correct. need people, you need the donors as well. How confident do you feel as you, you yourself, you will be uh, conducting this? I feel confident. Uh, we've been at it for a year and a half. Um, just want to be clear, though, that this is for a very, very select population. Okay, who? Which are folks who are having a terminal bladder and are either currently immunosuppressed or are going to be immunosuppressed in the near future. Meaning, somebody who has a kidney transplant or a liver transplant and develops a terminal bladder for cancer or non-cancer reasons could be a candidate for it. So far, we have not done the first transplant. We have done all the preparatory work towards it mm -hmm. and are getting ready to do the first. If you're able to pull this off, um, oftentimes that leads to other medical uh, advancements. Uh, who else does this benefit? It would benefit uh, patients with a terminal bladder. Terminal bladder meaning it could be for likely for benign reasons. For example, if somebody has spinal issues, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and the bladder uh, is causing significant discomfort mm. or a urinary incontinence, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, those would be the folks. Cancer and immunosuppression don't mix well. So we have to be very careful in that regard, uh, and that's something for the future. Well, we can't thank you enough for all the groundbreaking work mm -hmm. that you're doing over there at USC. So thanks for being in studio with us tonight thank and you. enlightening us, Dr. Indy Gill. Thank you for the. I'd like to say at USC, fight on too. Now fight fight on. on. There you go. <laughs> all right.